I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and we just came across kind of an interesting uh, problem that, that we've resolved on, I don't know, several pianos in the past, but I, I, I haven't had the kind of, um, I, I didn't think to make a video of it before, and this is, it's kind of a somewhat rare, interesting um, issue that this piano's having. So, the piano's about 100 years old, it's an old Kimball, and, uh, and we've done a complete rebuild on it. Um, you can see it's of course it's on its back, all the keys are coming off, but like everything is everything is completely rebuilt, new hammers, there are new dampers under there, new strings, new tuning pins, new keys and the whole trap work down there. You can see everything is totally rebuilt. So we were literally bringing it up to pitch um, this this final time to get it delivered to the customer when um, when we started to notice some bowing in this in this little this is not the plate but this is um, the, the plate is down here this is kind of a extra piece that kind of glues on or goes on to the uh, above the pin block so we started seeing this bowing and the tuning wasn't working out very well as we were bringing it up to pitch and then we just took this off and this is what we discovered under there that is not a happy sight so it's actually a fairly easy repair. I mean, that's a that is a substantial um, piece of wood to be bowing like that. And we've got some more up here. But keep in mind, we've got about 18 tons of tension. So that's what 18 tons of tension will do. So I don't know how many elephants that is. My car weighs about. Uh, let's see. What does my car weigh? Like a ton and a half or something? So 18 cars, or, or I guess 12 cars anyway, um, are causing this big thick piece of wood to, to really, really bend. So the, the repair, like I said, is it's fairly straightforward. We've done several of them before. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, take the tension off um, We'll put, uh, actually we'll put some, some wedges in there to hold it open. Uh, then we'll take the tension off. Then we'll, we'll put a ton of glue in there. We'll drill holes, probably like about here, uh, maybe here, something like that. And then we'll do several of them here. We'll probably do one, two, three, and then we'll go, we'll, do this one as well. Maybe, maybe we'll take these out and then we'll go all the way through. Um, so those holes will go all the way through the entire body of the piano, and rather than just having having these bolts that uh, that go through to about a depth right about there, they'll go clear to the back of the piano, and uh, um, between the glue and the, all of these. Um, extra bolts it'll it'll hold just fine um, I've never had I've never had that that uh, repair fail so um, so check in and in a little while and we'll, we'll see how the repair does and the repair is complete uh, we just have to uh, it's, been, it's been about a week since I made the video and now we just have to bring it up to pitch and, and get this piano um, all set up and, and finalized. Okay, so here's what we have. <clears throat> Sandwiched everything, uh, well, first, first took the tension off because there's just an enormous amount of tension. So there's, as you can hear, there's uh, very, very low tension on the strings, enough, little enough that we were able to get a lot of glue in there. Use, we, we put, uh, um, some wood on this side and on that side to protect it and then we used about a dozen clamps to close it shut and then uh, a lot of glue came uh, squeezing out and then here we have seven bolts so these are just bolts that we got at the hardware store but then we've polished them we sand them on the drill press up and then buff them up to that high polish same with same with all these washers um, they're just from the hardware store um, but uh, they go all the way through to the other side. So we've got seven of them that we, that we put all the way through, and we'll show you the other side. 
So you can see down there, they come all the way through. And, and the, the piano is still able to be flush with the wall because it's, they're, they're indented a little bit. Otherwise it would stick out and it would um, damage the person's wall. So we, we put seven of them in. This one, this one, three, four, five, six, and seven. So between the glue and the bolts, that pin block is not going anywhere. So here we are at the uh, tail end of this beautiful Kimball that uh, we, uh, we just finished up. There was a disaster with that uh, pin block that was coming forward. So um, I'll play it for you in a second, but let's, let's check it out. The people came in yesterday and they were very, very happy. Um, she was actually in tears because it's kind of a sentimental piano and, and that was very touching. So, okay, here we have the finished product. You can see these beautiful, um, beautifully um, installed hammers and hammer butts. Those are new and the bridle straps and lots of other parts in there. The uh, uh, dampers are new, all of the strings are new, and the tuning pins. And then here we have all of these uh, reinforcement. So of course the glue in there is, uh, is we, we glued it like crazy when we had it on its back and, and stuffed just as much glue in there as we could get. And I think frankly the glue would actually hold just fine. It actually held for, for decades. Um, but as, as that extra safety precaution we also put these bolts in. So you can, if you look carefully, we, we did polish these. These are just bolts from, that we got from uh, a bolt supplier because um, we wanted we wanted we, we didn't go to just Home Depot or whatever because we wanted bolts that were a higher grade and um, and also they, they were kind of a specialty length we had we had to do ended up doing some some extra tapping of about a half an inch on these bolts anyway but they were they were ugly and they look like bolts that you get just from the hardware store so we so we ended up polishing those on the drill press with with uh, sandpaper all the way down from like 60 grit all the way down to 2000 grit and then we buffed them so they kind of fit with what these these are okay and let's check out the back and, and now of course it's up to pitch and there's no bowing everything is holding beautifully as as i knew it would let's just check out the back of it and then let's and i'll play it okay so come on over here i'll pull this out so there's where the bolts go through. We recess them so that when this piano's up against the wall, they don't, they're not sticking out and gouge, gouge into the wall. Um, and they're kind of at a, at a pattern there because the, um, we're trying to fit them, like, like here in the base, trying to fit them around the tuning pins um, where there's a little bit less space. So. Now let's hear it. to me the, the uh, customer was through her tears like I said a minute ago it was very touching she said that uh, that she doesn't remember the piano ever sounding like that and I would say she's probably about uh, probably about 70 years old so um, and it's been in the family for a long long time so that was a very nice thing for her to say very proud of this work